day, YouTube. I've been working on the engine quite a lot recently, so I thought it was about time you guys had an update of the whole thing rather than unboxing videos or little specific jobs. So here's the state of the engine at the minute. There's a few things I want to show you today. There's a few or a fair few more bits on it than last time you saw it, I think. You can see the crankshaft in there with some valve gear, the conrod, slide bars. We've got the diff on here. I've just got a gear in there at the minute just to test it to see how it's all running. So one of the first things I want to show you is these nameplates which I've been working on. They come quite rough or rough castings but I've sanded them down and polished them up. They've had a coat of that barbecue paint that I've used on a few other components. I want to give you a look at the uh, front wheels, which we won't have seen for quite a while. They're now in their top coat, waiting for lining. So I have got some lining paints and colours, but I haven't decided what's going to go where yet, especially on the wheels. So in addition to the front wheels, the tanks are all now in their top coat. Um, still awaiting lining. I must admit I was having massive difficulty painting these. So in the end I got a local um, body shop to put the top coat on for me. There's only so many times you can keep sanding down and spraying it and then getting a bad finish and keep sanding down and spraying it. It sort of got to me in the end so I had to get someone else to do it. But I'm quite happy with the job they've done on these. You can't really make out the real colour. It's, it's x mayor blue just like the other bits that I've done. Now the tanks, the tender especially, are all waiting for the sort of um, the accessories to be fitted. So there's some of the straps. I've just got to put the final coat of black gloss on these. And there's sort of the winch bracket. Now as I said what I have been spending a lot of time on is the motion in the valve gear. There's a lot of um, sort of fittings or fitting work to do to get everything a nice sliding fit. No binding, no knocks, not too tight, not too loose. So one of the jobs I've got to do here is lap this eccentric in, so you can see it's a bit tight. It doesn't fall down under its own weight, whereas the one next to it, which I've already done, is nice and smooth. And it's just dropping down under its own weight when I let go. This one is a bit tight. So what we've got to do is take it off, we'll put some lapping compound in it, put it back on, Sort of work it backwards and forwards and round and round, see if we can get it a bit smoother.
So now I've cleaned all the lapping compound out, um, oiled it up and put it back together. You should be able to see. Now it falls under its own weight. It's worth doing all these little fitting jobs because it means when you get the engine in steam it just has less work to do to run in. Everything's already sort of lapped in and free. Um, there's parts here that you won't have seen the unboxing for yet, but I've got that to come. Say the flywheel and the valve gear itself. I think there's another kit as well, I can't remember what was in that. But there's there's two kits that I haven't done the unboxing for yet. Um, but I'll post those up soon. So that's probably enough for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, um, I've started an Instagram account which I occasionally post photos on between videos. So if you want to sort of keep up to date um, in between videos, you can look at my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description, but it's basically just at Cricks Builds. Um, and you might get a sneak peek there. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.